Hey there, my name is Privus, welcome back to more Surviving Mars. Below and beyond, playing at maximum difficulty, and boy howdy, last video did we get kicked a lot. That was... fun. <laughs> We're building out some additional domes out over here in preparation for the need to get some extra deep rare metals, but it's going to be a little while before we have to worry about that. We're not even going to bother maintaining any of it. We should be making way more power than I need at this point. And until we get the triple electric scrubbers, I'm not sure I want to keep these running, though we might actually have some time. We can turn some of these off at least, save myself some machine parts, and probably turn off at least a few more of these solar panels and try to save me some metals. Anyone who's starting to look like they're deteriorating a little bit too fast for my tastes, we can go ahead and just start turning off and microwing these suckers. And we're going to have renegade issues for the rest of the game now, because we are committing heavily into Chen being a population center. The comfort rating is not as good as I would have expected. Part of that might be because we are getting out of such things as, you know, natural disasters. But apparently, uh, gaming is a very common desire because engineers and scientists live here now. So that's a thing. Um, we could do something about that. I mean, that would certainly solve a lot of issues. I just hate the idea of consuming all of my electronics. But if we were to place this sucker, you know, there's no denying you get a lot of comfort rating out of it. By the way, I'm pretty sure we just finished using up all of our concrete sources, so we'll go ahead and just get rid of all this, scrap it all. Yeah, um, I mean, getting the comfort rating up is kind of the most important thing still, isn't it? So, it might be worth this. As long as we can keep up with our electronics production, it's not a big deal. I mean, our maintenance isn't that bad. Our production is 3.8 per soul, supposedly. So, with this working, even if I only had one shift, we could give people some gaming needs met, and that could reduce the comfort rating by a lot. Gambling is another common one. Shopping. You guys should have been able to do that over here at the grocer. Let me guess. Someone stopped working here. Yep. And this is going to be an issue because, you know, we're going to have um, lots of renegades who basically refuse to work where I want them to. Trip electric scrubbing. Ooh, also prototype events. Hang on. Excited and nervous, the group of scientists in your office can do little to hide their excitement. They want to build a prototype of a new type of structure. The prototype concerns other endeavors will suffer. Less research, chance to get a prefab. I mean... I hate this, but okay. I guess a free prefab is a free prefab. It's just, I don't... No, I'm, I can build these simple enough. No, forget it. Why reduce my research when I can just build these outright? Like this. Place one right here at the cost of electronics. Yes, it's very expensive, I'm aware. But there we go. Place one over, let's say, here. Increase its range, and all of a sudden, a whole load of other things get their maintenance taken care of. This is well worth it. We'll go ahead and place down those both. This should mean that I can probably keep these running at all times. No machine parts are going to be an issue from there. And we can start turning off a whole bunch of the solar panels. This just means a whole load of things don't take maintenance. Now, it does take power to do it, but I don't care. Let's go ahead and increase that range a fair bit. See if we can cover things like the polymer factory. We're going to save so many machine parts, dude. In fact, I'm going to max out that range. Let's see if we can cover anything else. Batteries, you know, whatever else. I don't care. So this should now be actively reducing how much maintenance is required at any of these locations. So, for example, that thing just ran. Okay, I see the maintenance going up. It should go down. Over time, anyway. 75% goes down to 68. See? Yeah! There we go. So, we do have electronics maintenance. And all of a sudden, now, I think that uh, electronics are, like, really important for me to be producing. Of course, we only have so many rare metals, so... You know, this kind of does put a little bit of a time crunch on us. In fact, getting that deep metal extraction could arguably be the best thing to do right now. By the way, I am watching our population go up a fair bit. We have eight children at a time now. That's a lot. This is working as intended. No doubt about it. How's our comfort rating looking now, by the way? Back up to 79. Okay. So, this is supposed to meet shopping needs. I'm not really sure why it's acting like it's not. Granted, this biologist isn't exactly... Sorry, botanist. Is not exactly a very good electronics clerk, but whatever. And farm-wise, I'm surprised we're not doing better. But we're okay, and we can boost this. Let's not forget, we could boost this by simply going for the farm automation tech. That is an option. Oh good, Meteor Storm and a Cold Wave, both gonna fire off around the same time. That's what I love to see, all right. Let me get some extra power production going over here since it's basically gonna end up being free for me and it just means I don't have to worry as much about our power for a while. 
Uh, one meteor right here would basically be GG. I mean, there's there's definitely places meteor storms can mess me up. I still really want to get that meteor defense system. It's just other things are kind of taking priority right now. Now I'm starting to wonder if that actually is true and if I'm going to put myself in a really bad spot. It's again, it's like a one in nine chance that something real bad's going to happen here. I don't know. Um, we do need to place down a passageway here at some point. Doesn't have to necessarily be the second, but it does need to be getting built up. Go ahead and turn it off for the moment so we don't waste a lot of time building it until I'm ready. But soon, the deep metal extraction will be done. Then I'll need to get some basic houses just for geologists to go and work over here. Now the problem, of course, is uh, people working over here will not be able to get to such things as the grocer. But I did place down a diner in Chen. Doesn't have a lot of people working here, mind you, but it's something. Um, gosh, we still need so many more people to work. Eight children, seven youth. And our birth rate definitely has gone up a lot. That's really, really helpful. Ah, oh, boy. Um, okay, refugee crisis. Ooh, wait a minute. <sighs> Ooh, hang on a minute. Asylum to refugees. Untrained, initially have reduced work performance. Some may have trouble adjusting and may become renegades. Renegades are already a problem for me. I don't think I can afford to take in 30. That'll be too much for me to handle at one time. That's a huge influx, but 10 is a lot. I'll take on 10 refugees. Sure. Heck yes. Let's take on 10 refugees so I can greatly increase my population. We were just talking about having too many extra jobs. Yeah, their work performance is going to suck, but it's better than nothing. As long as I got the food and water to support, who cares? Let's send our rocket to Project Br Blue Sky. <laughs> Reminds me of the song by ELO. Sector. Mr. Blue Sky. You guys ever hear that? Is my too old to know that one? Is, is like, is it just put me out of touch with the youth, ELO? They were good. Blue sky, blue sky, why? I liked them. Anyway, all right, we're about to finish the deep metal extraction. Let's go ahead and start prepping this rare metals extractor, preferably keep this so that the dust does not get in the way. It says unexploitable deposit. Never mind. we have to wait for it to actually finish researching. Apparently, gosh dang it. Extra money is nice, by the way. We could actually launch our rocket back to Earth and get enough for another full outsource. There's another 21 rare metals from a planetary anomaly that I just did. How sweet is that? Thank you, Project Blue Sky. Oh, Mr. Blue, you did it right. But soon comes Mr. Knight. Research. Creeping over, now his hand is on his shoulder, never mind. Ah, oh, gosh, this is my dad's music, I acknowledge it. But it was good. I don't know. His generation had some of the best stuff, golden age. Okay, we have 10 more people now ready to join. At the very least, even if they can't do a whole lot of work, they can start contributing to the whole baby situation, right? No fuel for shuttles. Yeah, I did just place down a, a jumper shuttle hub over here. So we could start building up some shuttles. And one of the reasons I'm doing this is so we can actually like get the seniors where they belong and stuff, because they're having issues. I don't need to build a lot of shuttles right now. I think that just uh, whatever we have right now, like the three shuttles I've got to start are plenty. They're gonna start moving some resources around. One of the other reasons I need to do that is because apparently somebody, and I'm not too sure who did this, decided it would be really smart to just go ahead and move all the metals over to this area. So that's 140 metals that are not where I need them to be. Which is like, no, what are you, no, don't, no, you're not allowed to do that, absolutely no. Uh, let's see, population wise, looks to me like my domes are filling out pretty well over here. I guess we can go ahead and build up another apartment complex. And yeah, we should see even more babies. I'm up to 75 pops, guys. See how quickly this suddenly started to become a thing? Wow. I'm going to place another Tripper Electric Scrubber down over here. Reason being, the Jumper Shuttle Hub already requires one electronic for maintenance. Uh, this will be the same amount of maintenance. I mean, maybe a little bit higher. I think these things do require maintenance more often. But it ends up evening out being relatively similar. And we can eliminate any issues as far as a subsurface heater plus our moisture evaporators, which is going to reduce my metal consumption by a fair bit. All you can see, by the way, my metals maintenance used to be at like 12 or 13. Now it's down to 3.2. So primarily what we're doing is consuming metals in the machine parts factory. This is great. This is why I love doing this stuff. And this does mean, because we are so efficient in our metals, that whatever sources exist on the map already, we'll be able to make them last a lot longer, which buys more time to get things like the Mohole Mine. Oh, you know, by the way, remind me, when, when do we have our uh, mystery event gonna fire? That should be soon, right? 
Well, there's a scary thought, um, because while everything seems to be going kind of hunky-dory right now, that's, uh, that's a very easy way for everything to suddenly go to crap real fast. Let's go ahead and outsource again for the maximum amounts. We're almost done with the stem reconstruction, which in my opinion is going to end up being pretty huge for us. Should mean we're going to have a lot more jobs. And with those extra jobs, I've gone ahead and set up what I think we're going to end up needing over in this general area. Looks like my shuttles have already been bringing some resources over, which I suppose is nice. Let's go ahead and bring the RC Commander. We can start constructing this area out. I'm thinking we want to go ahead and get these drone hubs up and running. If we can get the autonomous hubs, at least no electronics maintenance would be needed over there. That could be pretty helpful. Um, I think we're okay without farm automation for a little bit. Waste rock we won't need if I get a whole load of concrete off in this direction, which is also the plan. So this is going to be kind of like, I don't know, my in-game Australia or something. Just like start extracting a whole bunch of natural resources. That's the only purpose for this stuff. And you know what? Let's go ahead and rename this dome. And we're going to go ahead and name it Choji. In favor of the man who saved my run from uh, being really boring. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to have some water. We're going to have all this. I need to get some power, please, set up so things will turn on. So we can start storing all this goodness. Here we go. Something's getting turned on over here. Let's turn on the water tower. This will be off during the night. Now we'll start storing some resources. Okay. So life support is now getting turned on and all should be good. Stem reconstruction is done. Excellent. So, does this mean that a bunch of people are no longer seniors? Unless I just happen to time this where all my seniors are, you know, already dead. Uh, I, I think they may have actually bumped back to middle-aged or something. Huh. Well, we definitely have some homeless stuff going on here and plenty of extra jobs, right? I mean, one unemployed person right here, a youth who has no idea what to do with his life. We could go work on some more, you know, science and stuff, but... Yeah, they've already filled out the rare metals extractors over here, too. No, this is good, because with all this extra population, having some people who don't have jobs is great, because I'm going to need to set up some homes over here. So, uh, I like the idea of having some people who are unemployed back home, so that we can quickly do all this. What do we need as far as our services? Well, we need the standard lineup of a grocer. Could do a small grocer, I suppose, but a regular one is fine. Plus the diner, plus an infirmary. And then, you know what, for good measure, since we're not going to have any more domes coming off of this, a small little fountain or pond for some level of decoration. All right, and then this will need to get turned on. It's a high priority. And then the housing is a high priority. And the shuttles will automatically drop some people off over here as jobs become available. So we'll be fine there. Anything else I need to gather off the surface of the map? I think we're almost done, actually. My RC transport is basically finished. There's six metals left that I know of in the corner. There's a little bit over here, admittedly. All right, let's just go ahead and grab some of this nonsense and bring it up somewhere. And the shuttles can get everything distributed elsewhere, wherever needed. Shuttles are so good. I mean, I, I hate that they consume a ton of fuel. But, but, having a lot of those guys is so nice because... Uh, they're really intelligent about actually distributing things based on what's actually needed. At least that's my experience. They're usually very smart about it. People are starting to move over here, including medics and specialists. This is what we wanted to see. So now we're making about 10 per soul. It's not a lot, but it's technically almost enough to meet up with my consumption and with my maintenance requirements right now. So I'll go with it. It's pretty nice. And if I wanted to, I could set up a second shift over there, or I could open up a second metals mine. That really is going to be dependent on how many extra people we have. If I find... 14 children? Dang, dude. If I find myself in a situation where I have extra people, yeah, we'll go ahead and open up a second shift, and that will get me even more metal production. We got this, I think, just barely in the nick of time. Barely in the nick of time. And if we need to reduce our uh, machine parts uh, production in order to make this last a bit longer, I'm, I'm okay with that, too. In fact, I think we will. We don't need this many machine parts anymore. My maintenance is actually kind of affordable right now. This is fine. How are we doing on electronics? See, electronics, it says we should be producing a lot. I know we just spent a fair bit, so that might actually be true. The electronics store is a big part of the reason that we're not getting a lot more. That's all right. Two new anomalies, including a freaking breakthrough. Please. What was that, by the way? Good God. What sound did I just made? Two breakthroughs. <gasps> Okay, opportunities for good stuff. My God, come on, game. <laughs> Please, be kind. I have been begging you for good stuff for this entire campaign now. Give me something good for the love of God. 
Oh, I did forget to rename this dome, didn't I? It's Black Methos, thank you very much. Alrighty, so three unemployed people right now. Um, I mean, with that being the case, all right, let's just go ahead and open up another work shift and allow for the full amount of people to work over here. Hopefully some geologists get the heck over here and this ends up becoming something closer to 18 um, metals per soul, which, uh, ooh, my metals maintenance for some reason seems to have gone up a fair bit, hello. Breakthrough discovered. Okay, that's concerning. Printed electronics. Allows drone prefabs to be constructed in the drone assembler using metals instead of electronics. Um, that's useless beyond useless. <laughs> it's just, it's just not fair. It really isn't. It's just not fair. You can't, you can't keep doing that to me. No, I don't accept this. I don't. I really, really don't. We're gonna reassign, by the way. Oh, you're a br renegade. Never mind. Mm. Why are why are the geologists going to these jobs? Where are they all going? They're disappearing in different places. Gosh dang it! All right. Well, my production's not as good as I would have liked. And now maintenance is down to 1.9. Yeah, we had apparently some big uh, boosts. All right. How are we doing on power? Fine. No problem whatsoever here. Even with the amplify, 14 is good enough. Um. So I don't really desire you to hold on to a lot of resources here. We're going to go ahead and reduce this, and hopefully the shuttles pick some up and bring them elsewhere. Uh, you no longer need to hold on to either of those. We'll need some machine parts and occasional electronics from the shuttles. Shuttles can't work during dust storms, can they? I just realized that. Right. Yeah, that would be a concern. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and grab whatever metals are over here and bring them back to the main base, since that's what's going to end up mattering. Having to deal with two different stockpiles of resources is going to become a little bit annoying. That's one reason that having the uh, shuttles is actually really nice. New breakthrough, Neural Empathy. Empaths raise the morale of all colonists in the dome. A rare treat. Hmm. Well, I mean, technically speaking, we are pretty good at getting rare traits thanks to one of our other breakthroughs so there is some use here it's just not a lot you know we've actually got a rather huge problem I have no metals back at the main base and I mean none zero zilch nada okay well I mean when the dust storm's gone we can get a lot transported over but until then it's gonna be a little bit tricky here comes six more enough to get some repairs figured out I suppose <laughs> Uh, thank you, Electric Static Dust Strike. That was scary as frick. Um, right. Yeah, yeah. Even even with our production, getting the metals where I need them is gonna be tricky at times. We're gonna have to figure out... We may actually have to send our RC transport to basically just be like a continuous convoy. Picking up resources and bringing them back. May have no choice. The other option to get metals is to trade with the other colonies, which... Up to this point, I have been very much ignoring. But, it is a thing we could consider. Just go ahead and start trading with them, getting rid of, let's say, extra machine parts in favor of getting a whole load of metals or something. Do you guys want anything? Trade. Send 50 polymers for 82 metals. Wow. That's expensive, dude. No. Um, how about how about tech? Okay, send them STEM reconstruction to get Martian patents. Basically, that send them a really good tech in order to get some money. Um, I guess I'm okay with that because I don't really care if I am competing with them. So let's do that for free money. And same deal, but with drone printing. Mech, but all right, we'll do that. They want my really high level tech, but we got drone printing. So I got some patents done. That's fun. Where are the patents? Not the copyrights. Is it listed as one of these ones that's completed? Shouldn't be. It should be a repeatable tech, right? Uh, I'm not too sure what happened with all that, but okay. Either way, so we got drone printing. Not that I'm ever going to use drone printing. It's a pretty useless tech to me, but it's done. I was hoping it was going to free up something else down over here in robotics, but I guess not. We are going to need to make some more progress down robotics because uh, I'm pretty sure the Mohole mine that we're looking for is going to be down there. 
which is going to be very expensive to build, for the record. Very expensive. But boy, howdy, it's going to be nice once it's done. Doing fine on food. I still want to get that farm automation, but we're okay right now. A mad genius! Hmm, need some special bits. Narble garbling generator will be ready as soon as I can finally gather all the scubbly dubs. Um, I mean... Prominent Thinkers has gone insane. Oh, screw it. We're going to try it. What happens? Minor setbacks make me hungry. He's recovered and gained the enthusiast trait, and a dome suffered a fracture. Of course it's one of these ones. It's Choji. Of course Choji would break. Let me guess. I don't have enough polymers to repair that? Oh, no, I don't. So, until the dust storm is done, I hope you guys weren't looking forward to having any uh, life support or anything. Um, so, uh, shuttles? Um, where are you? Shuttles? Hey, shuttles. Where'd you go? Shuttles? Oh, right, I forgot. You got hit by lightning, didn't you? You're out for a few- Gosh dang this game! Sometimes, I swear, it wants me to suffer. It wants me to die. That is the goal of the game. I- the whole thing is I've been waiting on this dang hub to become available again, and you had to strike with lightning at the last minute, so I still can't deliver any resources where they need to go. It would be funny if it weren't so gosh dang upsetting. By the way, this officially confirms there are no more resources on the map. Nada. So here's what we do. We pick up some metals, and we bring them back to the main base using my transport. Heavy load of shuttles. Yeah, duly noted. Don't care. We're trying to build out some more shuttles to replace the ones that, uh, or not replace, but get some new ones. So there's a lot of open jobs and not enough people anymore. We have 20 children. Jeez. I mean, I can house 24, but once you get up to 24, we need to stop. I don't want to have more children than that. That's going to be, that's going to be too fast of a growth. 17 kids at a time right now and no seniors. For real, everyone being middle-aged is such a nice advantage right now. All right, so the fracture should be fixed. Right? Everything's fixed up over here. Why don't we have more geologists over here? All right, you know what? No specialization and geologists are the ones we want, okay? Maybe medics. Everyone else is a big fat no. None of you guys should live here. None. Okay? In fact, I don't even necessarily want to prioritize these guys. I just want to leave that as the only options. Because otherwise, it might break my whole, like, Hey, you can't have seniors over here. And be like, well, yeah, but you, you said no seniors, but you also said you want geologists. And here's a senior geologist who can't do anything. And that would obviously be stupid. So we're going to kick out all the people that I don't want. And we're going to bring a bunch of new ones over. And you can see four people are currently situated to uh, be brought over here by the shuttles in just a little bit. I'd like to know why the geologists aren't working over here. They should be. The renegades are the issue here. They're making huge problems for me. All right, new thing. Quirk? No. Somewhere I can control renegade. Flaw? There it is. No renegades allowed. You're taking up valuable jobs in a critical, a critical area. You can, weirdly enough, control where renegades live. Which actually means, by the way, we could start sending renegades to die at uh, green pastures, and that is acceptable, believe it or not. But renegades still allow for births, even if they're terrible at their jobs, so I'm not sure that I'm willing to go that far, especially since at this point I only have eight. Botanist, geologist, scientist. Well, hey, geologist, would you like to go... Oh, you're a renegade. Right, never mind. This should be fine. This is good. This is a good mix. Two medics, mostly non-specialized, but we have some geologists in position. Why aren't people working here? Let me just double check this. 8, 10, 12, 14. So there's at least somebody over here who's supposed to be unemployed and they're not working where I want them to. At least the grocer's going. People have food. That's not the issue. But, like, this renegade shouldn't be allowed to live here anymore. Stressed out due to low sanity and temporarily unable to work. Dust storm is raging, couldn't visit a medical facility due to being a hypochondriac, which is ironic given that you are a medic. Heavy workload, blah, blah, blah. All right, fair enough. I could reduce this just to keep sanity high since comfort is terrible, and that will keep people working, at least for now. Until we can figure out what the heck else we want to do there. Is there anything else we could do as far as a service? That would make your life a lot easier. 
I mean, I could place down a space bar, but that takes more jobs. A uh, gym would make you guys happier, right? What do you guys want? Drinking, shopping, social, dining, shopping, playing. Everything you need should be provided here. I don't think we need to do anything else. I think we're okay. So we're going to temporarily at least ignore you. Why are there still so many medals over here? I only want, like, 20. The concrete, by the way, we shouldn't have very much over here either. For some reason, it's just refusing. The shuttles are refusing to deliver resources the way I want them to. That's going to become very annoying very quickly because I'm going to have to figure out this stuff out. I'm going to have to manually move resources around. Over half of my concrete are currently located over here. Okay, well, at least we're able to deliver some metals over here. So, we're getting somewhere. We're okay. It's just, what the heck, dude? Alright, tell you what. We're going to change up our transport route. In this area specifically, all resources. That includes concrete and metals. Everything gets brought over here. And ideally, between trips, we are producing enough concrete and metal that they can sustain themselves, and we'll just basically make that a colony and keep sending things over here. I think that's going to be the way to go. We're still doing okay on kids. These two schools are pretty much full, but that's fine. I'm a little bit worried that there's not actually enough uh, playgrounds to go around, but somehow their comfort's okay, so I'll live with it. We have plenty of non-specialized who are trying to train up. We're training up scientists, and we're full. Holy crud. Okay, if we've actually got that many scientists, then what it means is it's time to get myself another Hawking Institute. We can place one right over here. Storage space is full. You're telling me we actually have too many machine parts? You know what? I'm okay with that. I'm not actually going to build any more out. We have more machine parts than I have any use for. What we're lacking is electronics. So with all these extra people who have no idea what to do with their lives... Let's go ahead and start producing a ridiculous amount of electronics. We're actually looking really good on rare metals, too. Let's go ahead and send our rocket back, because I kind of forgot about it. We actually have some money to work with, amazingly. So let's do an outsource. That's going to get me the home collective, which, ironically, service comfort for my apartments is not actually necessary. Because my birth rate is already ridiculously high with 90 comfort. Oh, my God. Um, I am very concerned about food. Food is increasingly becoming an issue. We're getting very close to having a problem since my population has skyrocketed up to 122. So I'm thinking another farm is in order. And we'll start growing that out too. In fact, knowing that that's an issue, I think we will prioritize getting the farm automation as soon as Home Collective is done. That way, for less jobs, I get more food. We're floating even without too much issue. And I don't even want very many people working here. I just want to sustain the cover crops until we get this set up. Then we'll be fine. Now, the real issue I see is that we're not going to be making enough water anymore. That is an issue. Can I... Yes, I can fit you over here. Get a pipe. That's my last prefab for moisture vaporators to keep me going as far as water. And this thing's not on all the time. That's another reason we're not making quite as much water. That's okay so far. But we're actually not full on water anymore, so we should definitely be going ahead and building that back up. And I think I am going to go ahead and amplify this and place down a couple more solar panels so we have no issues there. Okay. Okay. So the good news is, we've stabilized. I'm making enough metals to survive. We're fine on rare metals. We're making enough food and concrete. Plenty of polymers. The one thing that's going to kill me right now is electronics. To that extent, we turn off the electronics store. I have a lot of people working for electronics now. So, like, we'll be fine. We will be fine. I'm actually going to say that this is a high-priority dome. I want to make sure that there are always people here. But we're actually okay. What's the new anomaly? Is it a breakthrough? It is! Oh, and also my RC Explorer died. Well, we got to end this video, but um, next time around, we'll go ahead and work on that. Let's get the Home Collective up and running. Costs a handful of polymers, but that's fine. Now we're going to work on the farm automation tech. Food will be secure for a long time. 
What's this, by the way? Martian born not taking damage from uh, natural disasters is huge. Because as you have seen, we've been having pretty serious problems with all of our uh, sanity as of right now. I do kind of think that it might be time to turn off all births for a little bit because I've got 20 children right now. We need to slow our roll until we can figure something else out. And by the way, we are once again out of fuel. Or rather have uh, no room for fuel. But we can fix that easily enough. Okay, I'm going to end this video here. Um, we're looking good. Really good, actually. But we're not out of the woods yet. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.